A rough start to the season sends the 1-2 Saints to London to take on the 0-3 Vikings. With both teams struggling for a myriad of reasons, who finishes victorious overseas? Welcome back everyone to the New Orleans Saints franchise. Big game for us here as we hope to beat up on these winless Vikings led of course by Kirk Cousins. They've got some decent weapons, Justin Jefferson, Dalvin Cook, to name a few guys. So we got to be watching out for them as our defense needs to make some big plays and James Winston needs to step it up. But so far so good here for James Winston after a couple first downs. Little play action play here and we got a crossers route to Marquez Callaway. First time we've seen him in gameplay in this series and making a big catch here. And then here he is in the end zone for a touchdown to put us up on top, 7 to Zippo. Now, I love Marquez Callaway's speed. In fact, I like a lot of our wide receivers here. That's why I really wanted to get him into some action, especially in that formation with that play specifically. It's a great play to run with a guy with a lot of speed. Now, here's Kirk Cousins flushed out of the pocket. Going to pass out here to the right. That's Justin Jefferson with a catch. First and 10 turns into another first down and 10. Let's move here to third down and five at the nine yard line. Cousins with a seven step drop and nobody's open. Fires it out of bounds and Minnesota will kick the field goal. Now here we're gonna go with the same play, but this time we are going way deep out there to Michael Thomas. Harrison Smith with the deflection, but a penalty will be called and it's gonna be roughing the passer on our boy Jameis Winston. All right, Zadarius Smith, you can't do that. That's a no-no. So first down and 10, little play action again. We're gonna be bombing it deep. We're gonna say, F it, screw it. And Michael Thomas makes the catch on a deflected pass from Harrison Smith. That's some luck right there. We need it. We're one and two. Unfortunately for Minnesota, as an 0 and three football team, this is the kind of breaks that you get. Take it from a Lions fan over here. This is just stuff that happens. Next possession here for Minnesota, fourth and 18 after the sack by none other than our defensive star of the season so far, Marshawn Lattimore, coming in on a blitz, sacking Kirk Cousins. Here's a deep bomb to the left side. That is another play action play. It's really working for us, this play action against Minnesota. Here's a drag route up the middle. That is Deontay Hardy with the catch, getting the first down and moving the chains. Another example of the receivers that I love here, even our depth guys, just quick and speedy. Now this pass, out of pure frustration, I'm pausing, I'm mashing the pause button, I'm just so frustrated that I'm throwing another pick. We were so clean up until this point. Jameis Winston's got two touchdowns, no picks, and he throws one here. I threw it to the wrong button. We got circle and square right next to each other. Xbox players, you get it. I don't know. You see some of these buttons and these layouts and you're thinking something else. I don't know. Just push the wrong button, man. It sucks. We had another chance at a touchdown here, making it 21-3. Brutal. Third down and 10. Cousins. No pressure until the very last second, but he was in that pocket for a long, long time. He's going to have to throw this thing away. Now with 25 seconds here, we've got one timeout left. What are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to have 17 seconds by the time that Olave goes down, and we're just going to knock this thing down and call a timeout here and go into the second half with a field goal. I think that that's fine. That actually, that gets us half the points we should have had after that interception, right? So now, 17-3 to is their score heading into the half. I like what we're doing on offense so far. Yeah, the rushing yards could be a little bit better. Attempts to yards actually gained. But man, our passing game has been on point here today. Vikings. They look like they want to come out running the football here. They've got Dalvin Cook on back-to-back -back plays. A big first down here couple plays before you didn't see in this highlight reel cook has been reeling so second down and seven turns to third and one after a nice completion by cousins now dalvin cook again on the route here to the sidelines another first down for the vikings so they're starting to come back a little bit they said they went into the locker room and wanted to utilize their star running back little juke move kind of freaked us out here and werner can't also make the tackle dalvin cooks into the end zone after pretty much that entire drive was predicated on using him and using him only third down and 11 here for the Saints and a fastball that totally missed the target there come on Jameis I know that there's some pressure in your face there but my goodness deliver a little bit a little bit more accurate of a pass there would you 
So fourth and 11, and we're punting the football away. And a look at Elante Taylor on special teams, man. He has been so good out there using his speeds. Already got a field goal block in the last episode. Now this is a great punt coverage play by him. And now our defense is in a prime situation here. One yard line, second and 11 after attack for loss. We're bringing the heat, and we've got Werner and the party into the back of the end zone. That's a safety. Werner started it. And that's going to give us two more points. Next possession here for the Vikings. Seven minutes in the fourth quarter. That is K.J. Osborne up the middle. So when you thought they might have been dead after that two-pointer, after that safety, they're back in it, guys. 19-17. to 17. So we know the job. we got to kill some clock. A touchdown is preferred, but we do have to get into field goal range at a minimum. Get another score here up on the board. A couple first downs and good runs by Alvin Kamara. Next play. First down, big time gain by Michael Thomas here with four minutes left. We are killing that clock, guys. 3.34 left. Winston, little screen pass to Kamara, waiting for his blocker. Should have waited just a little bit longer, just a little tick longer. First down and 10, 2.53. Winston going to fire up the middle and no! Eric Kendricks, who is a great, great coverage linebacker, comes through with the interception and he jumped the route on Taysom Hill. It went literally right through Taysom Hill's hands. A possession catch and he can't get it done. Jameis Winston, another interception, but here's second down and three. It's picked off by Marcus Lattimore. This guy has been absolutely insane for this defense. Five interceptions on the season and we're only four games in. The Saints will move to 2-2 two and two after this trip to London. 19-17 is your final score. We really, the offense just couldn't do much. We just put, didn't put the ball in the end zone. Got a lot of field goals today. I'll give you guys a little stats update for the game in the box score here in just a moment. But man, what a game that that was. Man, it was interesting. Let's just, let's just give it its due. Let's give it its credit. We got the win. It was a hard-fought win. The 0-3 Vikings gave us a lot to handle. Don't have a bad defense. It's just really putting the ball in the end zone. We had a lot of field goals in that game. Will Lutz was busy. But up on your screen, you will see the box score here. We had 295 yards of total offense with three turnovers. We had two turnovers, but the game is registering us having three turnovers. This is something weird that's happening with Madden. And we're going to take a look at a statistic update for all of our guys, all of our players, as far as they rank in the NFL. Marshawn Lattimore isn't even on the list for interceptions as a leader across the league. So, yeah, something's goofy about the stats and the stat counting here. So, I don't know how much I trust it at this point. But we'll get a stats update as far as our team is concerned across the NFL here in just a moment. Especially after the Seahawks game is when we'll dive in a little bit closer to it. But overall, I think our defense actually played very well against these Vikings. They've got some playmakers, Jefferson, Cook, and Cousins can hold his own, but we held strong and stopped him when we needed to. Really, that our defense played well, kept our offense in the game. Now, what are we going to do about the Seattle Seahawks? They've got a QBR quarterback rating with Drew Locke at quarterback, over 100 at short passing game. So that is definitely going to be the focus for us. And then we're going to try to pass it medium, throw it medium against Seattle. Now, looking at their numbers here, you could probably argue, hey, you want to try them deep, you want to try them short, do something else other than medium because quarterback ratings actually the lowest out of those three areas, medium, short, and long. Now, opening the game off, Bradley Roby, usered in coverage. I'm never going to do this again. Man coverage, I'm not doing it. Zone coverage, fine. Man coverage, no. I'm not, I'm not doing it. We give up an early touchdown here, second play of the game. Now it's our turn on offense, and we got Michael Thomas shoving off a bunch of defenders here. He's got two men to beat, but he can't outrace them, outpace them to the end zone. He's going to get pushed out of bounds. Same play, literally the same play, same route here for Michael Thomas. He's going to get another catch and get pushed out of bounds. First and ten after second and inches, we will pick that up. Now we move Kamara over in motion here on the wheel route. That's a touchdown. Nobody was covering him on the sidelines and what a play what a way to draw it up there Jameis 
good job. That's our quarterback right there. Second down and three here for Seattle on their next possession here late in the first quarter. Maybe mid-first quarter. About four minutes left to go here. And then Drew Locke completed pass to Noah Fant to the left side. And unfortunately, we had a man in coverage if you guys go back. We saw Patrick Werner in coverage. And I decided to move him off. Try to take the running back on the swing. I don't know why I did that. But touchdown for Seattle. Now we're trying to bomb here in the back of the end zone. That's Michael Thomas, incomplete. And then Taysom Hill up the middle for a touchdown. Gave him a little shake. Give that linebacker a nice move. And Taysom Hill finds himself in the end zone. I have no idea what this celebration is. I have no clue. What, what are we doing? We're dancing. We're, we're praising. Is I don't It's weird to me. I don't know what it is. Third down and three. Drew Locke. Nothing there. Throws it out of bounds. Kick is up and off the upright. Saints are getting a little good, bit of good luck here in these last couple weeks. I like to see it. Now, uh-oh, just I spoke too soon. We got a penalty flag on the field after this interception. We just can't seem to get out of a game with no picks, except for Carolina. Didn't have a pick in Carolina. I, I got to give myself some credit there. But Sidney Jones picks it off, but he does get called for a pass interference call. He resets the downs here for us, and we get a strike to Michael Thomas. This guy has been so, so good. We said at the very beginning of the series that he needed to be a guy we focused on in this offense. And he's got a ton of receptions, one of the league leaders in the NFL right now in this franchise series. Drew Locke, pass out to the right. That's Chris Carson, going to get dropped right before the first down marker. Got to give the football back to the Saints. But Winston can't avoid the pressure. Sack. Third down and 19. Winston up the middle. And oh no, Kamara and Taysom Hill ran right into each other, and this guy's all pissed off about it. Oh man, I would be too. Two of our star offensive pieces just possibly injuring each other. Not good. And spoiler alert, they will remain in the game, but that's a big sack right there on Drew Locke, and he's gonna fire this thing deep. One-on-one -on -one situation, and Marcus May wins the battle with a pass deflection off of T.Y. Hilton. What a play to preserve the lead. Here's a nice pass again. Another wheel route there to Alvin Kamara. Picking up the big time first down. 19 seconds left here in the second quarter. And we're going to fire this one over to Jarvis Landry. And it's going to be intercepted by Jalen Mills at the five-yard line. Oh, man, dude. I just didn't see him there. I thought he was too worried about the guy on the sideline. And that's going to be another interception. This one counts this time. No penalty on the field. That one's going to count here against Jameis Winston. So yet again, another game, another pick for Jameis. So 21-14 as Seattle just runs the clock out in the second quarter. Let's move here to the second half. we got Mark Ingram checking into the ballgame now, getting a nine-yard reception off of a screen pass here. Alvin Kamara fumbles the football. He had this problem against Carolina. Had two fumbles in the game. Now another fumble here. Man, it's just our guys have just made so many mistakes through the air, through the ground, and it's really helping these lesser teams find a way to stay in the game against us. It's unfortunate. Turnovers will do that for you. So Noah Fant, a huge gain, and then we've got T.Y. Hilton. Nobody's tackling. It's just a piss-poor effort at tackling by our Saints, and T.Y. going to get a touchdown here to tie the ball game up. Mid part of the third quarter here. Winston fires it up the middle. That's Chris Olave. First time we've seen him in action here today. Makes a catch. Big first down. Third down and one. Kamara cut it to the right, my guy. He's going to get stopped, unfortunately. But that means Will Lutz has to come on and get a clutch kick up. And good. He is so automatic. 24-21 is your score as we start the fourth quarter. Pass going to be incomplete right in the middle of two Seahawk receivers. Can't get it done. Nice pass up the middle, deep to Marquez Callaway, right over top of the linebacker. That's a beautiful throw. One of the one of the very rare beautiful throws that Jameis has had it so far in this series. Second down and two at the 32-yard line. Run up the middle. That's Mark Ingram picking up the first down. At this point, we know we need a score, but I'm also considering the clock. I need a little bit of clock management here with just under six minutes. Mark Ingram, another screen pass caught for the nine-yard game. Second down and one. Kamara, first down. 
Little play action pass here. Winston going to fire it. No, not again. Looking for the end zone. And Chris Olave and Jalen Mills picks it off at the two. I love that play. It seems to always be open, but this time it wasn't. Jalen Mills, another interception. He's got us red like a book. Now we sell out for the run up the middle, and they go toss. Unbelievable. The luck is starting run drive for our Saints. Here's T.Y. Hilton. Gets hit hard. 3.05 left to go. But maybe the luck is starting to come back around. Little false start here. Going to push him back five yards. Now first and 15. Here comes Drew Locke. And oh no! A sack. You can't allow that to happen if you're a Seahawks fan. Can't happen. But Cameron Jordan comes through. Tyler Lockett's going to get found. Third and 13. Moving the ball here. Up the middle. So they're settling for field goal range. They're definitely in it. Now this guy's missed twice in the game. That's Myers. But he kicks this up and good. Now we're going to go back to the same damn play. Yeah, that's right. We're going to go back to the same one. And this time it works. Nobody's over there to cover Chris Olave. Second down and six. Another play action. We're really going to force this issue here. Pass completed to Taysom Hill with a minute and eight left to go as soon as he steps out of bounds. First and ten. Winston. Pass completed to Michael Thomas. Mr. Receptions Machine picks it up. Seahawks calling a timeout now that we're in field goal range. We can effectively win the game if we just burn their timeouts. Rush up the middle. Alvin Kamara picks up a nice gain. That's gain of six. Call a timeout for Seattle. Kamara up the middle again. Third down and one. Timeout Seahawks. They are officially out of timeouts, and Kamara will pick up the first down and gets from the 9 to the 3. That's a 6-yard gain. Now, instead of kicking the field goal, we are lining up in a run formation, and we literally could get the clock down to about 8 seconds before trying a field goal. More on that in a second. Let's just celebrate the fact that we got a touchdown here with Alvin Kamara, basically putting this game out of reach. They don't have any timeouts. They make a completion here. They got a rush to the line. They're not going to get this thing off in time. The next play. But, guys, knowing how the CPU is on all mad and difficulty. You gotta stop Noah Fant here, by the way. Oof, we do. And that's gonna be a win for our Saints. Great win, great job by the offense. Way to come through after those couple turnovers by Winston. But we win this game 31-24. Now back to the point, I didn't decide to kick a field goal there because I know how the CPU works in Madden. It just feels like in this type of game, this back and forth battle that we had, it would be a situation where the field goal would get blocked. The CPU would say, no matter how perfectly you time this, we're going to block it on you. Just to make the game more interesting. It's brutal sometimes. I, I'm just like, I'm not even dealing with that. Let's just get the touchdown. And now I still ran the risk of a fumble. Maybe a fumble for a recovery for a touchdown, which would have been even worse had that happened. So there's always risks in all Madden difficulty. No matter what you decide to run, it could potentially be awful. <laughs> you could get a pick six. You could get a fumble for a touchdown, a quarterback sack. I don't know, man. It's just all Madden is cheese sometimes. Let me know if you guys can relate in the comment section. Three and two Bengals against three and two Saints coming up next. We're going to go ahead and simulate this game, so no gameplay here. But Jameis Winston's actually, believe it or not, one of the top eight quarterbacks as far as passing yards go. He's also the leader well, in second place, behind Tom Brady. Yeah, in completion percentage. Can you believe that? I didn't think you would believe me, but it is what it is. And we'll see the NFL stats here in just a moment. But yeah, four sacks for Cameron Jordan. Marcus Davenport's got a couple. We got Peyton Turner with one, Taco Charlton with one, Marshawn Lattimore with five interceptions so far in the season. It's he, He's tied his career high. He's well on pace to just shattering that completely now here again look at we're sorting by interceptions he's not even on the list <laughs> like what that's why i feel like the game like jipped us out of the interception here for Jameis winston it's awful but as far as passing yards go we still got brady on top we got davis mills and jared goff as one of the top guys with passing yards now winston is in eighth place but the touchdowns to pick that ratio there it's pretty average compared to a bunch of guys. So you got Davis Mills with seven picks. Uh, we've got, let's see, 
Trevor Lawrence had seven interceptions. Mac Jones is negative at seven touchdowns and eight picks. He had Jared Goff at nine touchdowns, nine picks. So I feel like Winston's right where he should be inside that kind of tier. Completion percentage and the yards are high, which is nice to see. But yeah, then you got Michael Thomas within the top seven with receiving yards. And then Alvin Kamara is within the top five amongst running backs for rushing yards. So it's not like our offense is playing terribly. It's just we kick a lot of field goals. we got to find a way to get the ball into the end zone. But we did here three times against the Bengals, winning 21-14. Our defense really shut down Burrow and the Bengals, only getting 220-plus yards of total offense. Red zone efficiency. We were three for three, man. Three appearances, three scores. We got it done. Two touchdowns from Jameis. Did not get over 200 yards passing, though. So that's, that's a little bit concerning, but... You know, Bengals defense, pretty solid as well. Kamara, over 120 yards rushing, 24 attempts. So that was really what we were building the offense around today. Chris Olave, one catch for eight yards. But again, you know, it's not like he wasn't involved. It's just our offensive game plan was centered around the rushing attack today, apparently. Kamara was hot. Got to feed him. Got to keep giving him the football. Had one sack. Joe Burrow is a hard guy to sack but there you go man three straight victories so that's going to do it for today's video guys leave a like if you like this thing i will see you back here on sunday morning for the cardinals and the raiders week seven and week eight we'll get into week nine action on monday night and then we'll move into week 10 11 12 back over on next thursday so really we're moving through this season fairly quickly now let me know in the comment section if you would like me to start simulating some games versus just playing them all. If you like the gameplay, if you want to see more, you know, let me know that too. I'm I'm either, I'm up for either option, but you guys let me know in the comments what you'd rather see. So guys, again, leave a like if you like this thing. I'll see you on Sunday. As always, thank you so much for watching and peace.